Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how you can interface STM8S103 breakout board where this is the microcontroller here with Arduino and take advantage of a vast Arduino library. To give you an overview of the controller, this tiny controller is clocked at 16 megahertz with it has a 8 KB of flash 1 KB of RAM it has a EEPROM of 640 bytes the IOs are operational at 3.3 but it can have a tolerance of all the way to 5 volts it's a 20 pin uh, you know controller but out of this only 16 are operational IOs and the remaining four are for reset, ground, and VDD. That's 5 volts and 3.3 volts. It has dedicated UART, SPI, and I2C peripheral, four PWMs, five ADC channels, with, which are all 10 bits each. And you can see there's a test LED here. It's mapped to PB5 which is nothing but a D3 in Arduino you know, language or you can say like from Arduino when you're developing there you map it to D3 and also there are dedicated programming interfaces here now you can see it's written as swim it's nothing but a single wire debugging uh, interface and last but not least it has a micro USB keep in mind this is just powering the controller uh, there is no USB D plus D minus mapped to this USB interface so just to give you a perspective of how small this controller is let me zoom out and I'm going to place a quarter next to it and now you can get a perspective of how tiny it is and let me just keep an Arduino Uno and you can see the footprint here this is extremely tiny controller and can be used for a lot of iot applications that's what i, I can think of uh, since it has uh, extremely low power footprint you can operate it with a very small battery and uh, it has all the peripherals like ur spy and squared c so you can or even adc so you can hook up uh, for example a uh, temperature sensor and transmit the data over a GSM module. So let's get started. After we have installed the Arduino IDE, go to File, Preference, and you need to paste this link in the Arduino Board Manager URL. This is specific to the controller we have, the STM8. Now go to the Board uh, Tools Board, Board Manager, and search for STM. And you can see the plugins available let's go I mean installing should take a couple of seconds okay almost done yes okay the next thing you have to do is go to tool in the board you have you need to select the STM8 board and in our case it's STM8S103 S3 record board and once you have done that go to example and look out for generic example basic LED uh, thing is that this example is already uh, in this example like the LED built in it's already mapped to the uh, you know the B5 GPIO or which is nothing but B3 in case from Arduino perspective and if you go ahead and flash this the LED shared link I have already interfaced the board using STM32 for uh, sorry the ST link and uh, it's version 2 and in case you can see that it's actually a generic programmer but you can go ahead and use the standard stlink debugger as well so uh, this led built-in built -in, it's already mapped to b5 so let me go ahead and upload it and you can see that in a couple of seconds the LED is going to go and blink and yep so it's as simple as that so if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section please do like share and subscribe for more videos like this
Thank you for watching.